Say what? What do I want to play? I have no idea. Man, what am I feeling? Mind Maze? Woo! Mind Maze seems dope. Such serious games, though, with Mind Maze. I don't know. Hunter Strength? No. Fire Wave! That seems actually, that seems kind of fun. Uh, I, I'm just going through these decks. Uh, Fire Wave? Sure. <laughs> Why can't it be Randall Wednesday? I can't pick a deck today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this takes us. Oh, man. Let's just fucking see where this takes us. I hate this. Flame Slash is okay. Yeah, this is fine. I got a creature. I have to run this 4-2, I think. Chamber of the Parish. Well, that's getting flamed. And let's see. I have no other removal, although I could just block down. That's dope. Well, that's dope. So I'll probably just play that. Yeah, I'll just play that, and I'll flame slash this probably next turn. And this way, he can't swing in unless he lays a champion of the parish, right? Man, I don't know why I sound so down. I'm actually in a great mood. I got cottonmouth a little bit, but I drank like three. I think it's from all these dill pickle sunflower seeds. Like, who wants to kill me? Seriously. It's like a salt lick. Just I've just got straight salt just pouring through my veins. Can salt pour? Sure. I'm going to flame that. I'm going to flame that and swing. I'm going to flame that anyway. Like, that's the target all day, so... But now I get to swing in with my 1-1. One, one. <laughs> he fell into my devious trap, and he takes one now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. I win, oh, maybe 3 out of 10 times against this deck. Ooh, yeah, because I, I, I don't know. Because this deck, it's just a Tier 1 deck, and my deck's not a Tier 1 deck. <laughs> my deck's not even close to a Tier 1 deck. I don't know where this falls in the... I would say that this deck, this is just like a nervous twitch I do now. I, I bet that is so annoying. What? Look at that. Just, wah, ca caught that card. Got it. I got it, guys. All right. Yeah, this is probably one of the, like, bottom four decks in the format. And that's, man, I think that just might be the truth. Probably. Me draw three cards. I always get so confused on that. Like, why would I want to take damage? Oh, uh, yeah, let's let that dude draw three cards. And now, oh, he took it. Smart man, smart man. I've got way too many lands, but I'm just getting ready for Ginger Smash, right? I want Ginger Smash so bad. Little Fire Santa action. He's got no place. Seriously? Gather. Well, that's getting fl uh Now maybe it doesn't. Let's see if I can get... Oh, that's a Flame Break. Maybe it doesn't. Like, I have so many other cool targets. I think I'm gonna just... Bash because if he blocks, then oh my god, that's loud. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm gonna bash that way. If he blocks, I get to uh, kill both these damn things. So he trades his two drop for my one drop. Okay, he doesn't. So I'll lay fire wing and pass turn back. Is this creature without flying? So that's dope because I can just bash in a couple times with this and then flame break all of his stuff away. I don't, I don't lose this. Avis's glory going down again by one of the OG decks in lower tiers. Fiend hunter. I've got a sweet, I got a dope little uh, turn next turn, right? And just wipe his side. He lays another creature right here, right? Damn it. Okay, so. Yeah, I just bash with this. I could go all three of the flames, but no, because I. Sulfuric Vortex is good. I have five mana. I can't do both things. Sulfuric Vortex is probably going to win me the game. All right, so I go, I, I bash, because this thing's about to die anyway. And I'm thinking, like, hopefully he blocks. Man, if he blocks, I could, holy shit, if he blocks. He doesn't block. If he blocks, I could have done two, uh, one more damage to this and then flamed his entire side away. That would have been insanity. Oh, my God, that would have been good. But I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to say goodbye to old Goblin Arsonist. Flame break here. He takes three damage. I get all of my shit back. Players, Panax. Sounds like, I don't know. Some pharmaceuticals of some kind. And then, yes, I would. I've got a feeling this is going to get Path or O-Ringed right here. And then that kind of sucks. I, I can't get it back for four mana because it's under an Oblivion Ring. It's not in my yard. Besides that, though, yeah, because, yeah, not looking good for this dude. I'd like the land because I want to I play out both these spells, right? At the beginning of each player's upkeep, two damage. Wow. Holy shit, guys. 
<laughs> oh, the best card to play against me. That just that just took the wind out of my sails. Uh, Sulf. Sulf. Gotta play Sulf. I guess. There's just nothing I can do. Does he have... No, it's a Phoenix. Okay. And then I just has to turn back. Like, dude, it, I'm so close. He's... he. I, I could do three here. He would go down to four. Then he would go down to two. But then he would gain five. Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Because I can flames... No. That's just not the play. Unfortunately, I have to pass turn back. Uh, I, maybe? No, there's no really reason to cast... Yeah, there is. Flames. Because if I top deck, like, Lava Axe, I'm so sad. But if I top deck Lava Axe, I don't think it matters, right? He pretty much has to bass... Boy, what the fuck is this? He can't attack or block. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty good for him. He's bashing in. Okay, so it goes back up to 10. I go down to 10. Well, that's the great equalizer, isn't it? Bane Slayer Angel. I'm still not out of this. I just need I need something that kills that thing. Holy shit, that's not good because now my Banefire is out of reach, right? So I take two. I need a Banefire. I don't need that for sure. Let's see. Why is he at five? Because he can't gain life! Oh my god! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Holy shit! Panax! Player's Panax. Why do I always forget about that ability? Holy shit. You lose, sir. You go down. You go downtown. How about this? Why was I all sad about this thing when I have this thing? Like, why, why aren't you all yelling at me? Why didn't I cast Goblin Arsonist? He can't gain life on his upkeep. He has no cards in his hand. Oh, my God. I don't know why I always forget that about Sulfuric Vortex. But anyway, kind of sloppy. But uh, we took down... We took down Avis's glory with the red deck wins when he cast a Bane Slayer. Anyway, I'll see you next game. Alright, here we go. I need not some opening hand. I wanna I wanna trounce some kids. Uh oh yeah. I, I'm digging this. Hell yeah, Ginger Smash, my bro! Okay, we got it, we got it. We're keeping a four lander too, so we'll probably get there. I got Chandra's Phoenix to pick up the the pace. Wow, I have not played Samurais in a hot minute. Holy shit. I cannot remember. This is not a very popular deck. Got Flame Break 2. Flame Break's going to be pretty good in this matchup, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. A lot of their things, a lot of their creatures are nugged by Flame Break, so that's good. No Docky. No Dachi. Okay. Plus 2, plus 0, oh, first strike, equip 3. Really wish you would have laid a creature there, but that's okay. At least my Flame Break doesn't kill my Chandra's Phoenix, so I can hold off for a little while. I think I will. What? Good luck. Good luck. That's very Institute. That is very... Uh, it's a very intimidating thing to say. GL GLHF? I mean, you know, it's faster. It's more casual. Like, good luck. It's just scary, dude. I feel like I took your daughter. All right. <clears throat> he is the Impaler, too. Holy shit! It's funny, like, this guy just said good luck to me, and I'm, you know, all of a sudden, he's a kidnapper. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, so, once again, no creatures. Yes, creature? Okay, I'm off the rider. But I don't, I don't flame break yet. Although, yeah, man, I need to get rid of this damn thing. He can kill my bro. Of course, his bro will die too, so, yeah, I think I'll swill. I, swill. I think I still will just swing in with... Lay Chandra, bash with Chandra. And then I need to find a way to kill this damn thing. Like, hopefully he blocks now. I need him to block because given that thing plus 2 plus 0 first strike is going to shut my ass down, son of a bitch. Okay, so I need a burn spell. Soon. Okay? That's what I need. I don't. I still don't think I'm going to flame break. I, I think I'm going to get more value. Hopefully he equips up the Dachi on this damn thing. That would never happen. He would never do that. Or maybe equip up and then swing. He does. He did do it. All right. So, ah, man. I I want him to bash with both, I guess. Yeah. That way I get in for two. Flame break just to get that 3-1 out of my face because I can't race that right now. I do have mana for old Ginger Smash. Ginger Smash is going to help out a lot, isn't he? He's going to help out tons. I don't know. Maybe I do wait just a little longer for flame break. Said nobody ever. Well, okay. I got that, right? So I can now just... I like the Sulfuric Vortex Flame Slash 
That, I don't know, dude. Flame Slash this thing, because, like, I need to be tacking in, and the Flame Break doesn't touch that. So I think I will Sulf. Wow, what a weird, what a weird way to go about this. Take three more. Seems bad, but sure. Uh, he, he cannot Masako the Humorless right now. Keep in mind on that shit, because if he had one white, one red, it might be worth not even swinging. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know if you play around with one card in the deck, because it's probably like a Helix, right? So Sulfuric Vortex, I think I can win this race, especially with... Oh my god, what is that? Okay, it's Ginger Smash. Especially with one of those bros. But I will Flame Slash this thing, because I can't take care of that in it. What? Oh no! It doesn't even help it. <laughs> he just flashed a Brute Force. Okay, alright, well... Alright, so that means he can get around my Flame Break. I could just lay Infernal Titan... Okay, he, t he tapped out his only red. I'm going to blow him out of the water this is <laughs> return. That is such a rude, such a rude card right now. Luckily, he's tapped out a red, so Brute Force is not going to be a thing. Although the, the cycle thing is, but that costs 5 mana. Don't think that's going to be a problem. I am going down to a fairly dangerous 11, about to be uh, uh, 8 after this Flame Break. What is that thing? Equipped that back up. Okay, didn't want to waste the mana because he knows, he, this guy knows what he's doing at least, he does, he just accidentally flashed that card. There's a Grim, so I go, land, sure why not, bash, flame break, and then Grim Lava Mancer. Next turn, Infernal Titan, holy nuts, why is this deck working so good right now? <laughs> uh, flame break. So I go down to a fair, I need to start winning. But obviously, because I'm down to six, so I'm on a fairly relevant clock. But man, I got old Ginge Smash here. So it looks like I'm hurting, but I'm not. Actually, it doesn't even look like I'm hurting. It depends on what he has. Like, a Lightning Helix would suck. If he has a, a Helix, it would help him get back in this, but I still don't think it's going to be enough. Unless he Helix me. That would probably be enough, would it? Holy shit, I just thought about that. Okay, do I want to nug him with Titan? Activate. What, what land drop? I'm at, I'm at land drop six. This costs mana to activate. Man, come on. Help me out here. You got to be free. Okay, I'm going down to four. Land. Man, Helix. Helix hurts me pretty bad. Uh, land. Bash with Chandra. And I think I'm going to nug him with Titan. And then when, I, I, unless he has, even if he does have Helix, he, Helix I lose. If he has Lightning Helix, I lose. Because I go, players, institute, players, institute, players, institute. Oh, it's a brute force in his hand, right? Yeah, it's a brute force. Doesn't matter. It's a brute force. Holy shit. I'm all worried for nothing. He flashed it. But if he did have Helix, he could just Helix my Nug. He would gain three... And he wouldn't be dying right now, and then I would on the swing back. Holy shit, that would have been crazy good. What? <laughs> Tino, Tino nipple. Tino 68 nipples. Tino nipples. Tiny nipples. Okay, we got there. We got there. <laughs> it's not even close to what it means. Uh, I like this. Yeah, I like this. Okay. Oh, man. Kilnfeen in this format does nothing because <laughs> there's so much removal. There's so many ways to disrupt it, take care of it. What is this deck? Man, a lot of green. People are loving the green right now. A lot of love for the green. I love green as a magic color, I think. Let's see. What's my favorite magic color? What piece of that pie do I like the most? Probably black. I think black. Black, then blue, then green. Kiln Fiend. Okay, so Wild Guest, Wild Guest pumps up my Kiln Fiends and also helps me draw into stuff like another Browbeat or something like that. Or uh, Ginger Smash. There we go. I got four lands. I can get there again with them. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, I don't need... Well, I've got pretty pretty good... I've got one removal for like a Well Wisher. Let's see. What do I want to discard? Because I'm going to be... Oh my god! My calf itches. What was that? Did I just get bit by something? If I die, guys... You, I'm like Spider. I'm like the reverse of Spider-Man. I just like it's got spider bit and actually just died. So <laughs> you had it on camera, guys. If I drop dead, sh I could browbeat, huh? Man, efficient browbeat. Two player draw three cards. Holy shit! I'm gonna screw that up. And I, I don't want to screw this up again. This is so mad confusing. Let, let him draw him. Let him draw him. Why not? He seems like an okay guy. 
Tiny nipples, what you got, bruh? Taking it or draw? Oh my god, he let me draw! Oh my god, look at the fire in my hand! No pun intended, look at the hot fire in my hand! That is so much red, it's glorious! Holy shit! I have eight cards in my hand. Uh, I don't need any more card draw, but let's just drop a land. Why not? Do I need to? I could just drop a phoenix. Could just drop a phoenix. No, I'm dropping a land. Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could see, like, reasonings behind phoenix, because I'm going to need lands. I need ginger smash. I now have a lava axe. Of course he's not. Okay, coat of arms. Getting a little peek at his deck. He runs coat of arms. He gets an immaculate magistrate. Okay. That means I have to kill that the turn it comes down. I can't let that really untap, can I? Uh, or not untap, but, you know, lose summoning sickness. Okay, so I bash. He took that damage, too. I guess he had to. He couldn't kill it. I wouldn't be surprised if he, didn't, if he didn't trade here. So land. Do this. Discard the land. I could flames. I could flames take out both those creatures and swing. Creatures, you... Creatures, you, creatures, that one. For a second, I was like, holy shit, this is the guy with Hexproof. And I was like, nah, it's not. Just can't be blocked. Or it can be, but it has stipulations, right? What is that? I didn't even remember that. Except by creatures with flying or reach. Okay, that probably would have been irrelevant this game. If it had stuck around. But of course, that did not happen. Uh, I think I'm okay against this deck. Most of the time, it runs like Flame Break and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I do just fine against Sylvamite. Sylvamite and old Tiny Nips. And that's pretty much seals the, seals the deal. Lead the Stampede, Taunting Elf, finish. Okay, man, how much work is Kiln Fiend doing? So I need to kill that thing. Rancor, okay. Chandra's Outrage is going to be the play, right? Which kind of sucks because I don't have kill spells for, like, the Magistrate. I could Magma Phoenix, but I kind of want to keep up the pressure with Chand old Chandra, right? I really don't have to do this. I could just force him to block. I like this. I like this play still. Because this buffs the guy again. I'm not, I'm not using as... Well, I don't know. I don't know. There, there could be arguments for both, I guess. Because I have no removal in my hand. I don't know why I'm so worried. Why am I so worried? He can't get... He's going down to six. I'm just so paranoid about everything all the time. I'm such a wiener. But I have no removal, is what I'm saying. So he could go, like, Magistrate... That's four, and then like a one drop or a two drop elf now, you know? And ugh, he's still in heaps. He's still in heaps. What am I even talking about? Seedborn Muse? What do you even do? Untap, un untap all permits you control during each player's untap step. I need to read that again. <laughs> there, okay, there's a disintegrate. So I can't win yet, though. I need to read this. Untap all permanents you control during each player's untap. So he has all of his lands. And he untaps all of his creatures too. So it gives his lands, vigilance, <laughs> and his... Uh, that's so stupid. It, it doesn't give his lands vigilance at all. It gives his creatures vigilance and it untaps his lands. Got it. All right, well, I think the play is going to be Axe, Tiny Nips, buff that guy. He's got to block. He's got to block that. And then... Disintegrate next turn. He can't gain the life. I'm okay. I, I made it, guys. We got there. He's down to one. Really hate taking kids down to one. I don't know why it bothers me, because two's pretty much just the same thing as one. But one is just like, oh, he's almost there. He knows he can't take any more or he loses. But especially with this deck, two's pretty much just the same as one. And I, I we got there, guys. Like I said, I think this matchup's in my favor. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 7 out of 10 times. No, maybe 6 out of 10. Who knows? 7 out of 10 is a huge favorite. 6 out of 10 might be better. And then, yay! No gain life, right? For 1 mana. 1 mana gain, 20 life. <laughs> Alright, so... Disintegrate. Let's just do it for 4. Why not? Players, tiny nips. And that's going to do it eventually. What? Oh, that had to resolve first. That's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you next time.